audience, audience, we've had all night. <laughs> 125,000 pounds. You've got no lifelines left, but you are three questions Ooh. away from one million. How are you feeling? Oh, um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm fine. Have a look at the next question. It is worth a quarter of a million. If you give me the wrong answer, you still get £32,000 no matter what tonight, but you lose £93,000. Serious money. But if you go for it and do give me the right answer, it is worth a quarter of a million. £250,000. Question number 13. Here it comes. What is the sixth book of the Old Testament? Jeremiah. Jonah, Joel, Joshua. Sixth book of the Old Testament. Why are you grinning, Keith? I'm grinning because my ex-wife's father, who I know is watching, Tony, he was a Baptist minister. <laughs> <laughs> you can never get your ex-wife's father when you need him, can you? No. no. <laughs> Start with a J. Yeah. Um, ah, it would be a pure guess. Be an absolute guess. What would you guess? I don't know why, but Joshua sticks out. Um, Come this far, I'm not gonna gamble a one in four chance and lose whatever you said it was 97 or what a thousand quid. Um, I think I'll bow out and let the other contestants have a go, it's only right. It's up to you, have a last look, it's entirely your choice. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll bow out gracefully. Give me a check, let's have a look at it. Just one more time. Very nice. It's very nice. Actually, I must sign Show it. Show me an even nicer. One. You can walk away with that if you want. It's very nice. It's a nice one. One hundred and twenty-five thousand uh pounds. -huh. The next question is worth a quarter of a million. You can take it. It's up to you. Final answer. I'll take this. Okay. I think we're going to breathe a sigh of relief. Keith, <laughs> one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds, racing back to Debbie as fast as you can, and probably a brand new baby arriving in the small hours of tomorrow morning. Keith, I can tell you, you probably won't like this bit, but I can tell you, if you had said to me, Joshua which was what you sort of vaguely had an inkling towards, it was actually the right answer. You would now have a cheque for £250,000. I don't think you care much. He goes away with a massive £125,000. <laughs> now it's time to meet tonight's ten brand-new contestants. They are... Alistair McNaughton from Edinburgh. John Hudson from West Yorkshire. Jackie Hill from Somerset. Peter Matter from West Sussex. Paul Chaplin from Essex. <laughs> Sally Swarby from Middlesex. Pauline Morgan from Worcestershire. John Hastings from Lanarkshire. Mo Brown from Middlesex. And Mark Knight from Berkshire. Right, that's your ten brand new contestants tonight. Fastest finger first, one question, four answers. No calling up, please, in the audience. Fastest finger first. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these groups into the decade when they had the most hits. Eurythmics, Roxy Music, take that, the animals. Frowns in the audience, a lot of frowns here. Let's see, the right order then. Uh, first and foremost, going back in time, furthest back to about the 60s, the animals. Then, more recently, Roxy Music, many of their hits from the 70s. Then Eurythmics, and then coming up to the present day, take that. That's the right answer. Let's see how many got that right. Then, more important, let's see who got it right in the fastest time. These all got it right. Who was fastest? Paul Chaplin in 4.46 seconds. That's all. I've already given away 125,000 pounds. Right. Just a bit more. I'll certainly do. Well, let's go.
Paul Chaplin, a BT worker from Grey's in Essex. His wife, Nicola, is up there in the audience. If Paul wins big money, he says his three-year-old son, Reese, has already asked Dad if he can have a trip to the zoo. That shouldn't take uh, too much money, actually. Uh, with a million pounds, Paul's already decided to buy Nicola the biggest eternity ring her finger can carry. Paul, you're a romantic kind of a guy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not that romantic, actually, because he also says if he wins a million, he'd hire Tina Turner for private karaoke <laughs> and walk the Great Wall of China with Michelle Pfeiffer. Absolutely. Ah, yeah. So you're sort of all round romantic. Absolutely. OK, it's just Paul against the computer, but as always, he has got three lifelines. And we want to see Paul make the computer sweat, not the other way around. Remember, I don't have the correct answer on my screen until Paul gives me his final choice and it goes orange. Right, Paul, good luck. Fingers crossed. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> so, Paul, I reckon the first one, if you give me a right answer, I reckon Reese is off to the zoo for 100 quid. Yep. OK? <laughs> Any zoo of your choice. Right, question number one. What is an alternative name for Santa Claus? Father Time, Father Christmas, Father Brown, Father Ted. That'd be Father Christmas. It's the right answer. Reese, you're going to the zoo. Good man. Right. Have a look at question number two. Just take your time, Paul. Remember, you've got those lifelines. Which Latin word used in English saves saying, doing, or writing the same thing over again? Erratum, addendum, ditto, or sick? Latin word used in English saves saying, doing, or writing the same thing over again. That would be ditto. Ditto is the right answer. You've got 200 quid. <laughs> Number three is worth £300 or three trips to the zoo. Have a look. In mythology, who sailed with Jason to fetch the Golden Fleece? Dreadnoughts, Argonauts, Cosmonauts, Astronauts. That's Argonauts, Chris. Wasn't Jason and the <coughs> Dreadnoughts? No, Argonauts. It's good. Right answer, you've got £300. <laughs> Have a look at question number four. It's worth 500 quid. How many seconds are there in one hour? 60. 576. 1,440. 3,600. Just take your time before you answer. How many seconds are there in one hour? 60. 576. 1,440. 3,600. It's uh, 3,600. You sure? You happy? Yeah, 60 seconds in a, in a minute. 60 minutes in an hour. 60 times 60, 3,600. I can hear your school maths creeping. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, you put a little plus in the margin, right? Yeah, it's please. the right answer. You've got yeah. 500 quid. <laughs> Have a look. Question number five. It's worth a thousand pounds. What nationality was the artist Pablo Picasso? Swedish. German, Spanish, Russian. It's worth a thousand pounds. If you did give me a wrong answer, you'd go back to nothing. I'm sure he's Spanish, but I'll ask the audience if I might, please. Okay. Audience on your keypads, please. Let's make sure we get, um, or well, we keep Reese with his trip to the zoo and we get Paul up to a thousand pounds. A, B, C, or D. All vote now, please. Uh, 93%. Agree with you that he's Spanish. 5% uh, think he's Swedish. 1% of this audience think Pablo Picasso is German. And 1% think he comes from Russia. Yeah, they've, they've confirmed what I was thinking. Spanish. Final answer? Final answer. It's good, you've got a thousand pounds. Tina Turner and uh, Michelle Pfeiffer are getting really excited now. Right, you've got a £1,000. Have a look at the next question. You've still got your 50-50 and you've still got phone a friend. Uh, Reese has definitely got his trip to the zoo. Have a look at question number six. It's worth £2,000. Here it comes. Which sovereign state has Latin listed as one of its two main languages? Monaco. Liechtenstein. Vatican City. San Marino. Our initial reaction has gone Vatican City. 
Something the Pope let him feel the language. Wanna play? Oh, 50 50. Yeah, sure. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Lee Paul, just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. <coughs> yep, yeah, I'll, I'll go Vatican City. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> A look at question number seven of 15. Which Oscar winning actress and Labour MP resigned her post as Transport Minister in 1999? You think you know this, don't you? Hopefully. Diane Abbott, Glenda Jackson, Harriet Harman, Dawn Primarolo. Glenda Jackson, Chris. Final answer. Final answer. That's good. It's the right answer. You got four thousand pounds. <laughs> right, you got four thousand um, pounds. You've still got a lifeline. The next question is worth eight thousand pounds to you. Take your time. You are eight away from one million. Have a look. See if you want to double your money to eight thousand. In which city was Julie Walters born? Liverpool, Manchester, London, Birmingham. It's worth eight thousand pounds to you. I'm sure she's got a Birmingham type accent. I just don't know. I really don't know. Don't know. Um, I'll have to phone a friend, Chris. I think. Okay, who should we phone? Um, Oh, phone Pamela. Okay. Not Pamela Anderson. I wished. So did I. <laughs> okay. 30 seconds. Tell her the question and the four possible answers. It's worth £8,000. You don't have to take her answer. See what happens. You got 4000 You can walk away. Hello, Pamela. Yes. Hello, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I've got Paul here, Paul Chaplin. He's on four thousand pounds. Right. With your help, we could get him up to eight thousand pounds. Okay. Uh, the next voice you hear will be Paul. So he'll tell you the question and four possible answers. One of those is the right answer. It's worth eight thousand. Okay. All right, Pamela. Right, Rob. Okay, Paul. Your time starts now. In which city was Julie Walters born? Was it Liverpool, Manchester? London or Birmingham? It's Julie Walters. Yeah, um... Liverpool, Manchester, London or Birmingham? I'm not 100% sure. I really am not, Paul. No? Uh, Manchester, I'd guess, but that's really a guess. Sorry. OK, don't worry. OK, bye. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I... I really have not got a clue. I really don't know. I'm sure she's got a burn accent, but I, re I really just don't know. Wanna play? I really don't know. You've got a thousand. <sighs> At the moment you've got four. I really don't know. City where Julie Walters was born. One of those is worth eight thousand pounds to you. Liverpool, Manchester, London or Birmingham? Definitely not Liverpool, London. Definitely. I came with nothing. Manchester. I've had a great day. Manchester. Final answer. Final, final answer? Final answer. Paul, you had £4,000. If you said to me Birmingham, it would have been the right answer. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. Paul, you've been a great sport. I'm really sorry. You still go away with £1,000. Take your little boy to the zoo. OK, oh. thanks, mate. Give him a big hand. Paul goes away with £1,000. <laughs> Nine contestants left. 
Once again, fastest finger first. Audience, complete silence, please, while they concentrate. Here comes the next question.